In this video, I'm going to finish hybridization by talking about the other two hybrid orbitals. In previous videos, I talked about the sp, sp2, and sp3 orbitals, but I mentioned that, that they're not the only ones, although they're the, the main ones and the, and the orbitals that you will use throughout your chemistry learning. So chemistry courses just focus on these three. But there's there's two more I'm going to talk about, and they're the sp three d and the sp three d two orbitals. This does nothing to do with this. So let's talk. About, let's start with sp three d. Well, as its name says it, it has one. S orbitals. It has all three p orbitals and one d orbital. And a sp3 hybridized molecule will look something like this. So instead of the usual four tetrahedral shape. It will have one more atom coming out bonded to the central atom. And the EDG given to this is called trigonal bipyramidal. And it just a good picture I found that may help you remember that is this. So you can see it looks kind of like a like a pyramid, but with a fourth base. So that's you can think bipyramidal. Although bi sing means four means two. Sorry, you just think of two pyramids together. So one here. And then the other here. But whatever works to make you remember, it's it's EDGs. It's like electronomic geometry. It's trigonal bipyramidal. And I'll do the same as I did for the other hybridizations. Um, when so wrong color. The atoms bonded. I really have to improve my handwriting. From the to the central atom, um, then we have EEG and molecular geometry. I'll also show you how how each of them looks when you draw them. So when there's five, with, well the the EDG is going to be the same for each of them. So you're gonna by parameter. So it's going to be equal here, equal here, and the first case. The EDG is always the same as the molecular geometry, so it's also going to be trigonal. Uh, a good way to to remember this is just by drawing this yourself, just remembering the table and drawing it yourself. And we have four, three. I'll put the structure in this box. Uh, but I'll give you the name for each for this is called a seesaw and this is called T shaped. Let me fix that. T shaped. So this will look like 
I will just I, w I won't make this car a carbon because it would just be wrong so I'll just call it an A it's whatever atom in the middle deck that, that can have five bonds and then this will be X it has one here one here one here two here and that's our string of bipyramidal structure it's the same I showed you before this when we have four that means we have a free el an el electron pair and then we have an X here X here X here and X here this X is just the same as up it just didn't fit and that's called seesaw I don't know who came up with that name but if you think of it I'll, I'll use this box to draw it if you think of it like this we have a line here and then the two here it's kind of like a seesaw in which these two are the base and then this this two are the line pretty much so yeah that's that that's a seesaw structure and then we have our third one is T-shaped that one's a little easier to picture we have an A here there. one here, one here and then one here and one of these ones is an electron pair so it just looks like a T like that let me draw this again for you so there we go to remember so this is our seesaw you just connect this and this is our T and then we're missing one the case in which it has two atoms bonded to it the picture I'm going to put a space there, the EDG is still channel by parallel and the molecular geometry is just linear so it will just basically look like a line so we have an A here two electron pairs Electron pairs and X, X. See, we have our line there, and that's that. That's the shape again, and that's our SP3D hybridization. A good example of this is our PCL5. So phosphorus is one of those elements that that can hold five bonds. And it will just look like this. So it's just tunnel by parameter. And another example we another example is CLF three. Uh, chlorine can also hold five bonds. It will it has three so you can just draw it like this we have one here one here and that's what we call T shaped it's three it's string of parameter for electron geometry and it's T shaped for molecular geometry um finally let's move into sp three d two So it will be one S three P and two D orbitals. And the picture as before 
is going to be like that. So we let's just think of the the usual four, and then just add two uh, two atoms. So a line right there, pretty much. And that is called that has an an electron geometry called EDG called octahedral. So let's move into our table. So we have the case in which there's six atoms bonded to a central atom. Because it's the maximum, the EDG and the molecular geometry will be the same. Octahedral. And octahedral. This will be equal for all of them. The EDG doesn't change. Remember that. For the molecular geometry when it has five atoms bonded to it, it's called square pyramidal. So you basically have to think of pyramids for everything. And for the fourth one is square planar. And for the structures, I'm going to erase this part just to have a little bit more space. For octahedral, it's the same as the picture before, so this one. It's going to be I'm going to call it A and X again. We're going to have one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So you six, six atoms bonded to a central atom. For our square pyramid, we're going to have the same structure, but instead we'll have one with the with an electron pair so just that and I'll show you the pyramid right now so we have our A here we have one X here we have one X here one X here one X here and one on top and then this is just an electron pair so this is our pyramid and then you just combine it to the top so it's a square pyramid so that's why it's square pyramidal and finally our last case was our square planar I didn't draw it before but I'll go right here just to have more space so you can visualize it, visualize it better. Have our A here, and then just like that. X, 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 X. You could just think of the channel planner. We had our Mercedes Benz sign. This one you just add one, pretty much. It's still like planar. It just Think of our of the trigonal planar, but adding one more atom, square planar, just a square, uh, like this. We have a square. So if you can visualize it, it's going to be really easy to remember these names. But if you can't, you just have to practice. It, at first, I really couldn't see it, and then with a lot of practice, it just became familiar and easy to recognize. So I'm going to solve one that's pretty common, the sulfur SF6 and that will just be our octahedral. One here, one here, one here, one here. One here. So sulfur is a pretty common one and it can hold six. Six, six bonds, six atoms. And well, that's it for for our for the two more hybridizations. If you found the video helpful, like it and share it with your friends.